What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to remind you up and last time, the Dutch snuck up and captured all my territories right when I was calling that they shouldn't. I don't, I didn't think they re couldn't see why they would. Um, but we have finally been under siege by the Ottomans. I've decided to sally to keep my forces as strong as possible. But I'm going to sally and then hold because our cities are breached. So they will try to get inside that breach and we have mortars and we have artillery to cover the breach. So hopefully by the time the organ guns have broken our walls and other places, the majority of their forces are routing. At least that's the hope. We've got some good line infantry. We've got some armed citizenry. We're not armed brilliant, but they're better than nothing. I think we should do okay. But let's fight to defend Greece. This is going to be. I was anticipating the Ottomans coming to get me. But not the United Province. That was a bit of a surprise. And ultimately, if we don't win this, and then immediately send people to go recapture Patras, we could be economically a bit uh, a bit screwed. So there might be some high tap couple of a couple of months. So there's our breach. So I'm probably going to want. So I'm going to put a conscript unit here. One of my volunteer units here. And my pikes are going to just hold this corner. Because they're, they're, if they've got melee infantry coming in, I'd like my pikes to hold them here. Because then these units will fire into the, into the blob of units. I probably want you... Here. Yeah, that's pretty good. You under co behind cover of the house. Let's keep my cavalry out, but back here hidden. This elite unit, well, not elite, but you can go here. You're on the walls. We just need to keep some units on the walls to stop the inevitable flanks. But what is very, very nice is that I've just got so many... Okay, armed citizenry. Okay, you you guys just have sticks. So when I need to throw you in, we are screwed. Because you, you've got pikes. <gasps> okay, I might just do this. Just so we've got a, a bit of a deeper formation of pikes. That's actually not as unhelpful as I thought they'd be. Well, the Phala Calm Citizenry inside here. And then, so you're on the walls, you're outside, you're positioned. Deploy my mortars back here. Just firing at will. Garrison line. I like to keep my units far back as possible so they don't get shot in the back by these units. They're inside the towns, they're inside the um, cities. Not cities, buildings. You're a bit of a garrison, so you can hold fire. You go here. It's everyone deployed. The artillery's over on this corner, which is perfect. At the very least, even if they don't assault me, I very much want to use my fork guns to uh, soften them up somewhat. I'm going to speed up, speed up time just to let things happen, because right now not necessarily coming for me. Good night. No, water is engaging the Zimundari horsemen. So hopefully you should be met with a shower of... There they come. That's a miss. Let's 
These lime walls are rubbish. At the very least, before their guns set up, I've got a bit of an opportunity to do some decent damage with more guns than I normally would have to bear. The cavalry is doing a bit of a scout. They may bump into my horsemen at the back. Oh, that's an excellent shot. That's ten cavalrymen in one shot. The mortars are still shooting at this cavalry unit. That's nine of them. Okay, good. Now it looks like they're moving up. Couldn't resist the temptation for long, eh, boys? The riskers of souls. I want to see what these guys look like. I don't even think I've seen them before. Yeah, they look very desperate to me. The riskers of souls. The order. Some water. Quite lovely janissaries. Although they all look a bit zonked out. These are the guys I love. Oh no, they're not the guys I love. Don't like their swords in their hands, that's not cool. No, it's not you. Like every second those guns stay out of action is perfect. Unfortunately, they've drawn the fire of my mortar. I don't want to redeploy them. But to be honest, the mortars seem like they're doing a horrible job anyway. So, don't worry about it. Okay, let's speed up the action to get them more into range. Come on, men. Okay, first, first shot hitting the front rank. Cavalry are charging, but they've been ousted by the volleys of my men. You are firing them off. Good. It may seem like a bit of a mean trick to pull on the AI because they didn't, they haven't laid siege to me. They're hitting this section of the wall, which isn't bad. I'll pull them back and set up a small defensive pocket here. Really, if these guys don't breach the walls and instead they try climb them, be in for a bit of trouble. Nope, here they come. Hit that section of the wall. Oh, a bit too early. Routed already. Damn. And now the rest of their line moves in. Perfect. And their guns stay together. It must be these mortars doing the damage here then. Trying to hit the unit of horsemen. Even the riskers of souls don't fancy it. Yeah, you know what? You guys pull back. Pull back here. Set up a fire, new firing point. That if they move up, more of you will be able to engage. Run away. 
Right, here they come. So hopefully you guys will... Oh no. Change their mind. But they're off that same unit of horsemen that do a terrible job at it. Actually bothering. They are still just not very good quality infantry. They stopped moving up. They have presumably until their guns catch up. So you guys not firing your guns, your cannons. This has been a bit anticlimactic. Oh, okay, the risks of souls are. They yeah, are advancing. Now these guys are engaging. <laughs> They're your auto. So charge down and engage them. Good with wavering, so hopefully we can make them break. Come on. most peculiar that nothing's happening. I mean, I know it's not a sally, but why they're kind of dribbling some units into the gate and, s and some not. Well, you guys can't get out of the wall, can you? from someone. God, stop! See, I wouldn't... I can't. That's totally not working, so let's do explosive shells. At least they might be a bit more interesting to watch explode. Come on, waver you swines. Break, I mean. Okay, let's pull the back out. It's clearly working. Not equipped to deal with these melee troops. Because you're moving out. And it's very nice of them to continue to try to slay my men. Shoot the hell out of them. Speed up time because this is just a bit silly. So they're still wavering because they've got. because their morale bonus is crazy good, probably. They can't seem to pick who to. They're 
super veteran now. And don't you go back to manning your guns. There's only four of them that still won't help. And the army's coming. Two of them. Can't kill. Come on. Good. Now, finally, a full enemy attack. For which I will deploy my. Spare unit of infantry. It's very nice of them to spend this time here running around in front of my infantry to receive volley after volley after volley. Even though they are just conscripts, they're not bad. Oh god, that's a whole risker of souls unit. They're better at reloading. How's your ammunition supply doing? Pretty good. Every single sh every single one of them you kill. It's an elite unit. It's, an, it's more elite than mine is. Gonna make up their minds what to do. And are the guns up yet? Nope, they're still on the move. But if that's the case, where's my where's my cavalry? Let's bring my cavalry to bear, because they've got nothing to stop me. Okay, this is gonna be a big old challenge. You have one unit. That's the general's. <clears throat> it's the general's bodyguard. Go knock out that organ gun. So lovely if you did route, please. Oh, well, they're absolutely going to capture that building. Yeah, they don't know how to deal with me capturing their precious organ gun. Good, and they're routing. Halt, fire at will. Port, fire into those routing musketmen. Janissaries, sorry, because these are the melee infantry. Well, Still can't make, can't make up their mind what to do. Trying to do everything at once. Okay, where's my guns? Just keep pouring cast shots in that breach. You've still got plenty of ammunition. Go off the general, I suppose, considering you've got a unit of musketeers chasing after you. 
few units of musketeers chasing after you. Good, the general's been killed. Another force is coming in. Come on, make general's bodyguard waver. Route, sorry. Good. Flee, flee, man! Get yourself out of there. It's because it's not an actual assault, the AI doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, try to smash back into our unit, see if you can make them rout. Because they've lost a lot of men. They've lost their general, but they are elite infantry and they've got the are melee infantry as well. So, so if I drop to 70 cavalry, then I'm going to run. See, I don't think I am going to run. Nope, massacre them. So, I want my cavalry to be chasing down weakened units and annihilating them. Except for my general, because my general is a mortar battery. Okay, you're pretty much nothing, so you okay, don't don't worry about those good ideas. I thought you might they might rout. So one unit's flanking on the back. It's more of his briskers of souls. Chop them up. So I'm fairly sure this is their main army. So if we manage to. Yeah, that's nice of them moving their organ gun into the city. <laughs> Gonna bring it up to breach. So when these guys get a bit more exposed, we'll chase after them. Just those four. Chase down them, then chase after them, probably. To be honest, their gun team's done very well to get here. There we go. Don't worry about them. They're water. So just get your. Stamina back. There's a Janissary Grenadier unit. Which is just being picked to pieces. See, this is the thing. Generally, my Greek infantry is not very good. So. Every one of them that gets, that gets killed is a pretty much elite unit, right? That's the hope. They're an elite unit, so they are, their losses are much more severe than mine. Even if it was, you know, in terms of quantity, even if they were close, which they aren't. Every loss for them is much more significant than mine. OK, 
Okay, chase off the Janissary Musketeers. Yeah, the Grenadiers have been more soundly beaten. There's only 85 of them. These guys have 172. So to thin their numbers a little. The Grenadiers are doing very good considering under fire. Not fire by rank fire. If they were, they wouldn't be here. You should be firing for sure. Turn them off, turn them on again. Come on, silly empire very well to stay there for that long but it's perfect for me to have 32 men in their unit Stamina to the last man. I didn't even know this. I didn't even know there was a unit that was capable of doing that, standing there till its whole unit was destroyed. So I don't know if they fire onto them. They do. Let's get these guys to trot back, not walk, give them a bit of a break. But I think, in general, this is going to be a lovely, lovely win. It's taken a long time to get here, but still, a good win nonetheless. So much so, I might run these guys. Because they are shaken. Smash into their flank. Look at that. Lovely. Absolutely want to continue. Need to do as much damage to these people as possible. So they're they're all going to make it. Let's get the Azars to make it. And let the Union Musketeers can make it because they're pretty knackered. So let's keep on with trying to kill this particular water. Although they are exhausted, so they're only so effective they can be. Turns out it was a good idea keeping cavalry in the city. These guys, my guys are tired, but you're not too tired to kill the guys running away from you, are you? Because the chance now will be, can I... Re ...replenish my army 
and then maybe advance on them. Well, I'll be able to replenish and advance on the United Provinces, that's for sure. Oh, God, that was a grind. Look how well we did in the defence. 500 lost to 3,000. They have 1,000 men remaining. Perfect. That, that stack has been destroyed. Let's see what we can do from a replenishment perspective. Whew. In terms of income perspective, we've got very, very poor income, and we need to go lay siege to this region as quickly as possible. But, looking at the timer, I think it's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the massive slog that was the defence of Athens, and we will see you next time.